Take two. Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Alright, this is the second time I'm recording this. My voice hurts a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. Last time I stopped, re I, I reset the recording now because my microphone was not hooked up correctly. Which is really sad for my voice because I've had a sore throat today. Woke up with it, hopefully it doesn't get worse. Um, but I'll still get this video out to you guys as best that I possibly can. Alright. So, there's a couple things I want to work on today. Little, little bugs that they'll annoy users when they're playing your game. I recorded the episode, I know exactly what to do, and I figured out that what I thought to do would actually work perfectly. So, let's get started. Start UI, 2D game, window, scroll down to play a script. In here, let's tab that over again. Better. Okay. So scroll down to here. Now, you see this wild true do loop, blah 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 blah. There's a couple errors. First error I want to fix is making. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we're. Oh yeah, I remember where I was actually. Surprising. Okay. What I want to do is make sure that our player cannot go down faster than he can go up so what when we initially jump what is his speed point zero one we want that to be the maximum speed downward meaning negative point zero one will be the uh, minimum speed he can go downward or maximum speed he can go downward but right now we're just increasing his y velocity down some a little bit decreasing it every time if he's not touching the floor big problem there so what are we going to do to fix this? Well, we're going to add another if statement. Uh, actually, we're just going to make this an else if instead of else. Make it easier on us. Else if yvel is greater than 0.01, and let's change that to negative 0.01, yvel equals yvel minus 0.001. That maxes out the thing because now he cannot go further faster than this. Ow, okay. He cannot go faster down than that. That's problem one. Problem two is that I don't want him to be able to jump crazy amounts of times. What's why, what's causing that? Well, what's causing it is that he, as soon as he's done going up, the jumping returns back to false. And as far as this player W value thing goes, he can jump again. How can we fix that? Well, there's several ways, but the easiest way would just to be che to check that he's on the floor. How do we do that? We put fl and floor check here. And that's just going to check that he's actually on the floor. But there's another problem that comes up from that. If he's on the floor, and we're doing that twice, why do we have, why are we slowing our engine down? Why are we slowing the loop down by running through the floor check function twice? Is there a way we could avoid that? Yes! Let's make a variable. Let's make this variable right here after the wait and call it FC and make it equal to floor check. And this way we're just storing the return value of floor check and we can change this to FC and this to FC. Good. Now there's one other thing I want to fix, but. That thing's going to take us reformatting our code a little, 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 little bit. And I don't really want to do that until you guys see how this is working. And I can show you the issue. Ah, we got an error on line 114, it's saying. Um. Ah, we need a then right here. Sorry about that. We I, I don't know how I missed that with the red line and everything. But there we go. We have our then. And now we can test this for realsies. Okay. So. Load. A great good job. Again. Great job. Gold Hydro. I, I really. Every time I see it. I think. think that's my favorite now. I, just hands down. I th favorite. Okay. I hope you're watching this. And if you are, that's great. Now let's have our player jump. Okay, he's jumping. What well, if I mash W? Can he jump a hundred times without touching the floor? No. 
Now, why do we want that? Why do we want to remove unlimited jumping? Well, one, it makes it much easier to get through some levels, especially if you're making a side-scrolling platform game. Two, it makes it much easier to just get away from enemies. And three, who can jump on molecules of air? Seriously, can any of you take a jump, and while you're in midair, jump again? Just off the molecules in the air, like oxygen and hydrogen and all that? If you can, please, I will accept any video response you have of you doing that. But I don't think I'll ever get a video response of somebody legitimately doing that because, as far as I know, it's not possible for us humans. As long as we weigh, like, anywhere near the average weight of a human that is. So, that's fixed. And the other issue, we'll test next. Go into the players, player 1, scroll down to player GY. 2D game, window, player, and let's change his Y. I won't press enter until I scroll over so you guys can see it um, like I did last time, but okay. Scroll over. Now, watch. I'll press enter and you guys will know as soon as you see him all the way up top and then starting to fall. Watch. Now, remember last time we did this test, he fell and he went really fast, really quick. He never stopped his speed. He never plateaued his speed. This time, look at him. Speed is plateaued. Let's try this again. Now, you're sort of seeing what I want you to see right now, but you're not seeing enough of it. Press this. Now. Look at that. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in right to this. Look at this. Okay. Do you see the blue and the gray are mixing? That's not allowed. Right now, he's in the floor. He's not on the floor. He's in the floor. Nobody can go in the floor and not expect to break their legs. So we need to make sure that he only goes on top of the floor. He can't go through the floor. He only stays on the platforms, not in, through them, in them, stuff like that. How do we do that? It's not really that hard, actually. It's just... The way we've got our code set up right now, it's actually really easy. All we gotta do is come up to this floor check, add another value here, and we'll call it collision y equals zero. That's its initial value. Now, what's this collision y going to do? Well, I'll explain when we get there. Just come down here for now, and now we've gotten there. I know, such a weight, right? Uh, you guys are probably on the edge of your seats. All right. Here's what it's going to do. It's going to take the Y of the platform that the player might be colliding with, and if it is colliding with one, it's going to change the collision Y variable to equal the Y scale of the platform he's on. So it's just going to be collision Y equals P dot position dot Y dot scale. And that's great. Okay, so now we got that collision Y, but how do we use it to fix this issue and make him on top of the platform? Well, first step is return it with the function. But we're already returning collision. How can we do that? We make it a table. I'm pretty sure I taught this. Tables can hold more than one type of value. They can hold a boolean and an integer. So we're going to return a table of collision and collision y. And just by putting these brackets around it, we're making a table. And then that comma is separating the two values. We're now returning a table of collision, which has index 1, and collision y, which has index 2. But how do we use that now? And now we've got an issue because look down here. FC is floor check, and we're checking to make sure that's true here. What? You can't check if a table's true. Yeah, you're right. You can. But you can check if a value inside of a table is. <laughs> how are we going to do that easily? We're going to make two more variables. It's going to be on top or on floor equals fc1 indexing the first variable response and since we're controlling the function we know exactly what it's going to return and how it's going to return it and then floor y equals fc2 and that's going to return the floor y uh the y of the floor the top part top point of the floor that we're on and we're just going to change this to on floor which is the boolean to check if these actually on the floor on floor and now the very last part we just gotta move him up on top of the floor easy right yeah easy 
player dot position equals u dim two dot new. We don't want to change the x scale, so we'll just do player dot position dot x dot scale. Let me move the cursor out of the way. Dot scale. Player dot position dot x dot scale. Okay, easy enough. That way we're not changing the x scale because we only want to change the y. Zero, and now we're at the y scale. This is where things are actually hard ish. Not really hard. Hopefully you guys get it. And we're just going to do player that er sorry. We named it floor y, remember? So we're going to floor y, which is the y of the floor, the top part of the floor. And we could do zero and then end it, but then the player's top part would be the same as the y the floor's top part. Well, how do we fix that? How can we make the player have his bot this is going to sound weird. Get ready. How can we make the player's bottom touch the floor but not go through it? Well, that's easy. All we got to do is add or subtract the player's height. And that's going to make his top part literally his height away from the, bottom, the top of the floor. So floor y minus, move my cursor again, player dot position dot y dot scale. And that's going to move him up to where he needs to be. So now when we run this, as long as we don't have any syntax errors or anything, we should get a perfectly working player collision detection with the floor. I know it's already been close to 12 minutes. I apologize for how long I've taken. You wouldn't believe it, but the first take of this video was actually longer. So, and of course we run into an error because I didn't capitalize correctly. I have an issue with that shift key apparently. So all we need to do is come up here and change this lowercase c to a capital C and press F6 and then we're good to go. Thankfully this time it decided to tell me what the error was. Unlike the last time when I had this capitalization issue and it really didn't. I think it was for H capital C. I think that's what the issue was. It, it didn't really work. Or YC or something. Okay, so he's starting at zero. Now we've got a position or an issue. What's the issue though? I didn't actually expect this, but yeah, I found the problem. We're changing, we're subtracting the player's position, but we don't want to do that. We want to subtract the player's size. That'll actually get the height. And again, I'm sorry, I, I can't believe I made these two mess ups, but it's part of scripting. You guys will get used to face palming yourselves, face palming yourselves, face palming yourselves, over and over and over. And yeah, please like the video just because I face palmed like that and it really hurt. <laughs> nah, it didn't hurt. Okay, now he's actually in the right place. He's landing at the right spot, but okay, he was doing this earlier. Let's do the real test. <laughs> Players, player one, player GY, 2D game, window player and change his y which is going crazy here yeah let's let's um uh, why is it not giving me the ability to disable there disable this script and then then we'll change this now that it's not fluctuating super crazily zero and now it's not giving me the right opportunity and now undisable it Will he land correctly? Will he land? Yes. Okay, so he's jittering a little, 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 little bit. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. We'll fix that later on. This isn't a huge issue. Actually, it, it works okay. He's at least landing at the right spots. So we should be thankful for that. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like or dislike button. It helps me so much. It gets me more viewers. It gets me more subscribers like you awesome people. And it gets me more of an idea of what you guys want to watch. So here's the three benefits of liking or disliking my videos. I know I've gone over it before, but I want to go over it again. Gets me more viewers, hopefully. Gets me more subscribers, hopefully. Well, those two has the potential to do that if you hit the like. But you're two that help with that both like and dislike help me with. Three is it gets me it tells me what you guys want to watch, and four, it helps me know what you want to watch, so I make what you want to watch, and you get more quality videos of what you want to see. So please hit the like or dislike button, corresponding to how you felt about this video. 
don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I know I'm going out of order again, but I will catch you guys later.